Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And my God, your God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And we know he's rich and he promised he'll supply all of your needs. Philippians 4.19 somebody may need to read that that's confirmation so welcome if it's your first time returning soul drivers new soul drivers thank you for your continuous love and your support i truly appreciate you so let's get in the word we are blessed we're highly favored god is for us who can be against us and we're safe we're anchored and we're protected and we're secure so let's see why and what your angels had to show up, why God had to send them to fight for you, to fight for us during this time. All right, no word. Ooh, it's like all the cards want to come out. I guess it's so much going on in the soul tribe that... Wow, your angels are like rolling out here for you. Wow, ten of wands. Ten of wands. Naniel, God humiliating the proud. Spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. So for a lot of you, there could have been a lot of us people trying to humiliate you know, when I look at this crown here, it reminds me of that crown that was made of thorns that they put on Jesus' head to mock him, to laugh at him. So for a lot of you, people have been ganging up, surrounding you, trying to make a fool out of you in front of other people. And God is here to return the favor. Your angels are here to return the favor of humiliation. For a lot of you, a lot of us, you could have been going through some very, it's like I'm looking at something and there's water flowing and it's a very narrow path. It's like treacherous, tricky, slippery. You could have been going through some things, navigating some areas of your life and some people were probably looking at you and they were just adding insult to injuries like they were pouring salt into your wound and they were laughing at you. It's like as their path seems so smooth and everything looks so good. Your path had a lot of rocks and blockages and ups and downs and setbacks and delays. And for a lot of you people set this, this up for you. So for a lot of you, God is coming through, communicating this with you, spiritual communication. He's coming through to let you know what was done to you in, in the back. Ten of Wands, it's a lot of burdens, it's a lot of stress that was placed on you to take you out, to break you. For some of you, it could have just been life playing out. But it's like people were using whatever you were going through at the moment or right now, whatever you're going through, people could have been using it as a way to mock you, to laugh after you. Oh, Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I love that. So yeah, so a lot of people were looking at you, carrying a lot of burdens under a lot of pressure whatever you were going through. And it's like, instead of them trying to help you to release those burdens, people were like adding to you and laughing and jeering on, making a mockery out of you. And God is here to humiliate them. Wow, look, death. Death, God, the end of the universe. Endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. For some of you, some of us, and I've been seeing this a lot, and I'm like, 
<laughs> trying to get her. But I see if I'm using the Kipper deck, I see a lot of coffin. I see a lot of death. Other cards, the death card, endings. People have been trying to do a lot of endings in your life, in our lives. Whether it's your dream, it's your destiny, it's you physically. People want to unalive you, to take you out. But we see the ten of wands there. So people could have been doing a lot of things to cause a lot of conflict, to make you overwhelmed so that you would give up. And that would now is like abort your mission to get you distracted off of your path. But see, God is here to restore life, health, and longevity. God is here to let these people know that you, that we shall not die, but live. And not only that, and we're going to declare the works of the Lord. We are here on a mission and it's not over until God says it's over. It's like, how dare you try to end somebody? Like I said, whether this is physical and, you know, or just end your career. They don't want to see you happy. They want to end love in your life. Whatever you try to put your hands to, people try to jump in the way to be a stumbling block in your path. To bring an end. And this is what I'm saying with the humiliation. They are laughing because it's like they, they know the things that they have planned or they're planning. And so it's like for them, they're thinking it's going to work. It's going to come to pass. So they are doing the most. I mean, think about it. All those people who were mocking Jesus and they put the little note the, the the king put the note above that is the cross that he's the king of the Jews trying to mock him. They thought that the cross was going to be the end, not knowing that there is a rebirth, that there is transformation, that there is life after everything, that even with the 10, 10 of ones, endings bring new beginnings. That's what rebirth is. Planted, you're not knowing you're a seed and then you burst out. You crash people, you know, just do things to push you down. And it's like so little by little, you build back. It's going through the metamorphosis, the changes like the butterfly. And still having the, the courage to push through the valley of the shadow of death and still fear no evil. Oh my God, the world. This is closing out a cycle. It says, God, the source of wisdom, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all ventures. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Talk about double for your trouble. Talk about retribution. Talk about your come up, your glow up. Talk about rags to riches. Talk about from filth to fame. Oh my goodness. Talk about from the pit to the palace. Talk about Cinderella story. Mm, mm, mm. God is here to restore. See, the world is closing out a successful, closing up, wrapping up of cycle. It's like God pushed out, eclipsed out all of the plans, the trickeries of the enemies, all of the deceits, all of the things that they try to block up in your life. It's like they didn't want you to be known. They don't want people to know because maybe you're wise. You're giving too much information. Maybe you're knowledgeable. You're sharing something, things in your work, your, your profession, your career. You're on top of your stuff. 
They want to block all of that, make it stagnant. And the fountain of wisdom is like the fountain of youth, the fountain of health with the rebirth and longevity. Like there was a reading I did where I told you, some of you, they're going to have to sun you. Because it's like the very thing that are things that they try to, to stifle, to drown out, to unalive. God is here to restore those things in your life. Balance. I mean, not only are you going to be wise, but you're going to have fountain of wisdom. It's going to overflow. Because yes, even though when you were going through all of these ten of wands, it's like growing up, my grandparents, they were farmers. And so they used donkeys a lot or mules. And so they would have like, they call it hampers, like two baskets. That one on each side of the donkey. And then you have like a saddle in the middle where you would sit on. And sometimes in order to really pack the produce in the baskets or the hampers of the donkey, they have to tie them really close to a post or a stone so they don't move to have that balance, you know, in our, or in order to mount it, to get on top of it. And it's like, I'm just picturing like the 10 of ones as these things are dropped in because the baskets are the hampers, whatever you, you, you put in on it. Sometimes if people are moving rocks, if it's yam, if it's potato, whatever it is, but it's like they load it and they make sure both sides are even. And for a lot of you as life, maybe it's just your problems, your burdens, your cross in life got so heavy, but it's like, People were there who could have helped you. People were there who could have helped to give you a helping hand some way, somehow. And they didn't do anything. Instead, they tried to ridicule you to see if you would break under the burdens. It's like a lot of these messages that I've been getting, it's like, and it's different decks, different cards. But God is here to humiliate the proud. Because see, the things that they were doing to you, they did it out of ego. They were very proud or prideful. He's like, oh, watch. Look, look, how, look how I'm going to let this person have to give up. Look how I'm going to trick this person. It's like they were being bribed by other people who were in the back pulling the strings like puppets. And they would send this person or these people and this person who is egotistic would say, look, look how I'm going to go over there and do this to them. And I'm going to let them want me more or, you know, take away what they have or make them stress more. Just to add more fuel to the fire. That's what they were doing. And this is why God is now here to give them a taste of their own and a dose of their own medicine to humiliate them, the proud. The people who wanted to see endings in your life or endings to your life. God is wrapping up the cycle here and he's restoring you with a fountain of wisdom and he's giving you success in all your ventures. Not some, but everything. I'm telling you. It's a lot of things that were done in the background. It's so many things. It's like, and this is why it is so important to be grateful to divine, to God. Every day that we get up, we go out in our endeavors on the highways, the byways, in the marketplace, wherever. And we make it home safely. Oh my, we have no ideas. We have no idea the things that, came so close to us, the narrow misses, how our angels work so hard to keep us in the straight and narrow. There's so many things happening in the spiritual realm that God blocked and he stopped. Oh my goodness. Yes. So everything you put your hand to, it will be blessed. Everything. 
And then the last one here is the six of wands. God who took evil. Mm. Longevity protects against infirmities. So again, every illness, you know, and it's like the angel is breaking, breaking this bond. It's like whatever it is, whatever curse, whatever hex was placed over your life, God is here to break it. It's like to set the captives free. Longevity is like two cards here with longevity. The death card. People wanted to cut whatever you were doing or cut you off before your time. They didn't want you six of ones. They didn't want to see you being celebrated. They hated the fact that people admire you, people look up to you. They hated the fact that you were being recognized. They didn't like it or they didn't want it to happen. They wanted to stop any fame, any acknowledgement. If you're out in the public, they wanted to stop and block your progress. They didn't want this, but this is exactly what is going to come to pass. I'm telling you, a lot of these people are heathens. You know, they, they should have an award. I don't know if they do or not, but it's like the dumbest criminals of, of the year. They should have one of those because these people are dumb, they're ignorant, and they because they're so proud. It's like even when they were doing things and it's not working, they are so dumb. And so full of themselves that they, they refuse to stop. Because it's like people are saying, how come you say that you could deliver? You can't deliver. No, the people are laughing at them. They were too proud to stop. It's like the dumbest criminals ever. For a lot of you, some of you, it could have been a main male who wanted you to be imprisoned. A lot of these people were doing this because of money. And it's like they were coming in, some of them were coming in to court you or to pretend that they wanted to court you just so they could put burdens to your life. They could take from you, steal from you. Because if anybody is taking and they're not depositing anything, then it's going to leave you with a lot of burden, deplete you. A lot of emotional loss. It's like people hated the fact that you were innocent. For a lot of you, you don't do people anything. And they hate that. They hate that people see you in such a fresh light as this official person, this mature woman. They hated your stability and they wanted you to be stressed, not to be privileged. Oh my goodness. They hated that. They hated that for you. Wow. I'm telling you, a lot of these people, they wanted you to be in heartache and loss. To be bound, to be trapped. I mean, for some of you, this is what they wanted. It's like This is like the three of swords here. Betray you. I'm telling you, a lot of these people betrayed you. Because they wanted you to be burdened, to be stressed. But won't God do it? Positive movement ahead. Positive movement ahead. A lot of you, you, you disconnect from these people. And now they're going to have to see you. It's like you let go. Because a lot of them, it's like what the things that they were trying to entice you with you realize that it's a lie. They're false, they're fake. It's like God called you away from that when he closed that cycle out. And I'm telling you, see, material and spiritual prosperity, all of these blessings are going to be restored. Look, fertility, God closed all of these out. Emotional loss is like no more. That is not your portion. That is not your story. Confirmation. Some of these people who were working against you were the Ten of Pentacles. People in your own family 
who are your call family. People who were supposed to be there for you were the ones who were causing you the most pain, the most heartache, the most heartbreak. And look right behind it, the lovers. Yep, these are the people who come in, some of them with false promises. But they were only there to take you out. <laughs> they were there to take you out, look. To take you out, you are the empress. You're a divine feminine. They can't touch you. They can't touch you. They tried to put a lot of burdens to you. And guys, remember, this is an energy. I have male viewers. It's because you're, you seem as if you're not stressing. You're, you're not stressing. They wanted to wipe this off of you. You're intuitive. You're psychic. Everything you touch, it is blessed. They didn't like that. This is why they wanted to create burdens and obstacles in your life. They want to uproot your foundation. It's like you plant your crops and you have these crows who would come to pick out your seed. This, this, is, this is these kind of people right in the back again. The ten of pentacles and the lovers. That's what they wanted to do. Oh, that's what they wanted to do. Again, king of wands. So again, this could be the person who wanted to take you out. The death. As well as they didn't want you to be this king of wands here. And we have the fool with it. They didn't want you to take chances. They didn't want you to have new beginnings. Like it's for a lot of you, you could communicate. Because with the king of wands, he has... It's like he's giving a speech. He has his microphone. The spotlight is on him. So again, people, whatever you were working on, people could have even tried to block you from communicating, block you from getting the words out. Like you said, I said before, a lot of wisdom a lot of you have. You could have been, you know, encouraging people, pouring into people, speaking the truth. You know, waking up, waking up some people around you and they didn't like it. They didn't like this new path, this faith, journey that you are on and a lot of them for a lot of it some of you you probably even spoke some truth and they hated that and they want to take you out but i mean the wheel is in your favor the wheel of fortune is here it's in your the wheel is turning in your favor wow it's not over until god says it's over i'm hearing it's fated, it's destined for whatever it is that God has for you. It's going to come to pass and nobody is going to remove you prematurely. Queen of Wands. Yeah, God is ending the cycle. I mean, it's like all of your passion. Everything is going to be renewed, restored to you. Success in all of your ventures. See this, your passion is going to come back. It's like these people wanted to take the shine off of you. It's like you look too confident. You're too creative. Everything you touch turns to gold. No, 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 no. We can't let people see you in that light. We have to try to, to stuff out your light. Want to put out your fire. No. <laughs> God says no. 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 It's not going to work like that. That decision is not up to them or for them to make. It's not for them to make. God has a plan for you. See the, the three of the three of swords, the heartache and loss. Again, the lovers. So for a lot of you, it could have been people you love, romantic or platonic. People who were close to you, who tried to break your heart. Look again, the death card. And right here, look, the butterfly. I'm telling you, it's this transformation. 
People thought they were ending you, not realizing that is only the beginning of you. And this is what makes a lot of you, when you come back, you are so fearless. You are so bold. It's like you are unrecognizable. You are unapologetically you. Be and, and again, it's like when you come back and it's like this fountain of wisdom, it's because of all the things that you have gone through. This is why you will have so much to share, to tell others, to encourage others, to inspire others. So even though it wasn't good, it didn't feel good. Ten of ones, people wanted to break you. Life was going to break you. God stopped it. God blocked it. It's like he says you will bend, but you will not break. And God moved you away. Look with the death, the transformation. God took you out. It's like, how are they going to kill debt, debt with debt? You don't fear any evil. Again, that is that is our sign. We, we are death. We are transformation. It's like, how how are you going to... Come on now. It make it make sense. Look, six of swords. Again, movement. Moving on to calmer water. Like I said, with the discont discontentment and boredom, he's letting go, moving away from what no longer serve him. It's like God moved you away. This is the world card. He closed that cycle and took you out of there. Wow. Yeah, the strength. It's like because you survive. Because you overcame all of that that was meant to break you with the strength card here. Material and spiritual prosperity is like this is your reward. Spirit is saying like the word says you will reap if you faint not. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day. Psalm 91 verse 5. Yeah, a lot of you, you are not afraid of the, the devil, the iniquities, the spirits that they send to you by night and the arrows that fly by day. This is what I'm saying. A lot of you, a lot of us, when we go out every day, there are so many things that are happening in the spiritual realm that God is protecting us from. He kept us safe. Because a thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, and none shall come near your dwelling. It's because we're covered under the blood of divine, of God. I mean, a lot of you, I'm telling you, people did the most. Look, this is the high priestess here in reverse. People, and again, I don't call people who play with iniquity high. There is nothing high about them. They're low. They're, they, I mean, high priestess is those who are elevated spiritually. If they're working for darkness, there is nothing high here. So these people are working for the devil. So a lot of these people, I'm telling you, when it came to your, your fertility, you growing, blossoming, and all of this stuff, bringing forth fruit in your season so that your leaves would not wither. These people, they went out and they, they sought help from people who work witchcraft, iniquity workers. That's what they did to turn your world upside down. That's what they wanted. And look, the Ace of Swords is here, the truth. Clarity, yes. Yes, they wanted you to have emotional loss. This is what they want. But look, instead we have in the Ace of Wands, again, brand new, passionate new beginning start. We see the King and the Queen of Wands. It's like you're getting Stella, getting her groove back. Only this time it's, it's going to last. It's going to last. This is not just for a time or a season. This It says here, things are going to be restored. Longevity, your youth, your fountain of wisdom. 
a lot of new new a lot of new new the enemy won't prosper judgment is here i'm telling you break free i told you with with the world card is like is it the world yeah with the six of wands your victory your recognition and your celebration is like the angel is breaking asunder any curse that was placed over your health longevity protects against infirmities all illness it's returned to sender it's broken it's separated i'm telling you it's like for a lot of you it's like waking up some of you you could be seeing feathers as well around you you could be hearing sounds you could even your hair could be ringing too it's like you're gonna it's like an awakening you're gonna get some of you could be seeing number six eleven eight like the infinity sign Two, 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 two. It's like a lot of you, you, it's like you wake up. Because for a while, I'm telling you, it's like these people who are trying to put out, snuff out your flame. And it's like you're going to come back to life. It's like a resurrection. Resurrection. Look, God is going to turn your mourning into dancing. Three of cups. It's like victory is yours. We have the six of ones here. Your celebration, your victory, they can't stop it. They can't stop it. They can't block it. This is going to come in for you very fast. It's going to be restored to you. Everything.